Hello, good evening, Rosie Bell, Carlos, uh, Jacqueline, Kevin. How are you? Good evening. good evening. How do you feel today? What about your day? How was it? Was it good? So, so busy. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Rosie Bell? I'm okay, teacher. Very good. Okay. And what about your day? How was it? Mm. Good. I, I work hard. It was difficult, hard, right? It was tired. hard, 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 very hard. <laughs> yeah, very heavy, right? Okay. So, well, um, welcome. Okay, so we are glad that you are here. So, guys, we are going to start with today's class. We have different things to cover today. And, well, we are going to start by um, talking about the quote of the day. And, Rosibel, help us reading the quote of the day. Okay, this is one, one moment. My glass. Okay, we are going to put on the, the glasses. Go. Okay. Uh, good of the day. If we have the attitude, ¿cómo se dice esa palabra? Attitude. Ah, okay. Attitude. If we have, if we have the attitude that it's going to the going to be a great, a great day, it usually is. Very good. Thank you. All right. So it says, guys, that if we have the attitude that it's going to be a great day, a great day, it usually is. Okay. okay. Yeah. And that is correct. Okay. So if we have the attitude, like the two, right? So if we have the attitude that it's going to be a great day, it usually is. And that is correct, right? Mm -hmm. Attitude okay. is everything. Okay, la actitud es lo que cuenta. Attitude. Okay, so today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we have grammar. We have different things that we are going to cover. We have the practice time. We have quiz and we have the wrap up, the end of the class. Okay, so we are going to start by talking about the warm up. And as a warm up, we have a tone twister. Okay. So all of us are going to say it. So in this case, the warm up is this tongue twister. What is a tongue twister? A tongue twister is un trabalengua. Trabalengua. Yes. Traba Very good. So it goes Fred, Fed, Ted, Bread, and Ted, Fed, Fred, Bread. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. So. Fred, fed, head, bread, and head, fed, bread, bread. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Rosibel, go. <laughs> um, bread, fed, the bread, fed, the bread, and head, fed, bread, bread. Okay. All right, so let's see. So, 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 so. Okay, Rosibel. Okay. Rona, okay. go. Fred, Fred, Ted, Fred, and Ted, Fred, Fred, Fred. Very good. Yes, right now. Janet? Fred, Fred, Ted, Fred, and Ted, Fred, Fred, Fred. Very good. Enrique. I think Enrique has issues with the internet. Yeah. Andrea. Fred, Fred, Ted, Bread, and Ted, Fred, Fred, Bed. Very good. Marlon, are you there? Uh, starting driving, teacher. You're driving, okay. So, Kevin, Kevin, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, go, Kevin, read it. Fred, Fred, 
Ted, bread, and Ted, feed, bread, and bread. Bread. Okay, very good. Um, let me see. Well, I think that uh, Carlos Amaya. Hi. Uh, Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Yes, thank you, Carlos Amaya. Joel, read the tongue twister. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Rig. Fred. Uh, Fred, Fick, take brick, and take Fick, Fred, brick. Yes, so in this case, I'm going to repeat it once again. It is Fred, Fed, Fed, Ted, Bread, and Ted, Fed, Fred, Bread. Maribel? Buenas noches, teacher. Yes, good evening. Go. Say it. Diga el ton twister. Lo siento, no entiendo. Ok, Di lea. Ok. Bread, bed, del, bread, en, de, bed, bread, bread. Bread, very good. Bread. Eh, Carlos Vega, can you please read the tongue twister? Uh, Fred, Fed, Ted, Breed, and Ted, Fed, Breed, Breed. Okay. Yes, guys. Once again, this one is Fred, Fed, Ted, Bread, and Ted, Fed, Fred, Bread. Guys, tongue twisters are helpful for you to develop your fluency and your pronunciation. Okay. So this is your homework. Tienen que repasar ese tongue twister. Nos ayudan a mejorar la pronunciación, la fluidez y todo lo que tenga que ver para desarrollar cuando hablamos in, in, in inglés. Ok. So this is your homework. Es su tarea. El lunes le voy a preguntar ese tongue twister y tiene que salir bien. Ok. Fred, fed, head, red. And head, fed, red, red. Ok. Practice it. So let's start then with today's class. And well, let's see. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And let me ask you, okay, Joel, how many days a week do you work? Um, I I work I work six oh, on weekend. Six days a week. Six, six days a week. Excellent. Carlos Vega, how many days a week do you work? I work five, day, five days. Excellent. Week. Yes. Uh, Janet, how many days a week do you work? I work six, six days of the week. Six days a week. Six days a week. Excellent. Um, Brian Alexander, how many, how many days a week do you work? How many days? Um, six, six days. Six days a week. Okay, a perfect. Week. Yes. And Ronald, what about you? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? How much time? Uh, I need uh, eight hours Excellent. a day. Yes, I need eight hours a day. Very good. What about you, Rosibel? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Oh, we, we cannot hear you, Rosibel. 
I think that you are on mute. Creo que aquí el micrófono, Rosy. Oh. Eh, la palabra task. Time. Tiempo. No, no, no. Abajo. Task. task. Ajá. Activities. Um, mm -hmm. um, I task at work. At, I task. I, no, I task. I have. My, I have task in my work. Um, I clean. I clean the okay. product. Okay. No, Rosy, well, that, that is not the answer. Okay. So now, how much time? Cuánto tiempo? How much time okay. do you have? Um, working. Working. Yes, during the day. Um, 11, 11 hours. 11 hours? Uh, today. today. Okay. 11 hours a day. A day. Sí. Oh my God, okay. A lot of, a, okay. a lot of time, yeah. Okay. okay. And you, Eunice, how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? I need 10 hours. Okay, okay 10 hours. Okay. And, and you, Joel? How much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? I, I normally six hours. Okay, I normally I have? Have six hours. Okay. I finish my homework. Okay, all right. So I normally have six hours. Okay, so how much time do you have to complete your tasks at work? Means, le están preguntando, ¿cuánto tiempo usted tiene para finalizar sus actividades laborales? Okay, so how much time? Some of you have uh, probably 10 hours, 11 hours, 8 hours, maybe seven, maybe, I don't know, six hours. It depends, right? It depends. Very good. All right, guys, let's continue. So now let's move and let's talk about perks. Perks and benefits at work. Okay, so what are work perks? Have you seen this before? Do you have an idea what a perk is? No. No? Okay, so perks no. are benefits, yeah? Benefits, los beneficios que en su trabajo le ofrecen. Así se le dice en inglés, perks, okay? So work perks. It says, perks at work are the benefits employees get from working at a particular company or organization, yeah? So we have a couple of perks. Tenemos un par de beneficios acá. Mire. Flexible schedules. Horarios flexibles. Yeah. Flexible schedules. Yeah. Child care. So child care here in the country, mmm, aquí en el país, solamente hasta donde yo sé, una compañía ofrece ese, ese, ese beneficio para los empleados. I don't know, you tell me. Ustedes me van a decir si su empresa lo da. Child care es el cuidado de, de los niños, de sus niños. Ok. I don't know if your company offers that. ¿Su compañía lo da? ¿El child care? No. 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 Ninguna de las anteriores. Ninguna. Ok. So, well, child care. Uh, yeah, el cuidado de los niños. Tuition reimbursement. The tuition reimbursement es cuando usted estudia y cuando usted se gradúa, once you have graduated, ellos le dan todo lo que usted ha invertido en sus estudios. Tuition reimbursement. No? No. No. Ok. Wellness program. 
¿No? El, un programa de salud donde le pagan el gym. ¿No? No. Okay. No. Now, pay time off. Pay, pay time off es el pay time off, guys, es que les, les dan cuatro a cinco días libres pagados en el mes. Usted tiene cinco días para hacer lo que usted quiera. No. No. Ok. No. Healthcare, pero el seguro sí. Yes. The healthcare. Ok, so at least this one yes. Ok, this one yes. Healthcare. Ok. Discounts, descuentos. Yes. yes. Ok, you see. Yes, discounts, healthcare. Ok, and sabbaticals. Sabbaticals um, are the ones that you request. Esos son días que usted pide. Usted dice, quiero 10 días porque me siento estresado. No, right? No. Ok, guys. No doy carta de despido, ¿ves? <risa> ok, guys. Más carta de renuncia mejor, le voy a decir. <risa> All right. So, but those are perks. Son algunos beneficios que algunas compañías en nuestro país sí dan. Ok. Sí dan, pero son más que todas las compañías donde eh, usted pues trabaja con estadounidenses, ¿ok? Pero sí hay compañías que dan todo esto, ¿ok? Then, yeah. uh, yes. uh -huh. Tengo entendido que solamente eh, esas, esas opciones las dan las personas que trabajan con empresas e europeas, y españolas, hombre. americanas. Solamente. Yes. Here in our country, uh, okay, en nuestro país, tal vez nuestras empresas locales, uh, it's really difficult to find, right? Yes. But if you know English, right, usted va a poder gozar de todos esos beneficios si usted sabe inglés. Okay. And it is really nice. Es muy bueno. Okay. So that's why we have many reasons to learn English, right? Bastantes. Eh, razones para aprender el idioma, right? So then, let's see. Eh, well, those are some perks, okay? Beneficios, discounts. All right, so then let's move and let's talk about the book, okay? Let's move to the book. As you can see right here, we have a conversation, yeah? So listen to my pronunciation and then I need two volunteers, okay? So it says, Jeff, How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours and how much money do they pay? Pay for each extra hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now, first of all, let's talk about vocabulary. Work extra hours. Yeah, work extra hours, trabajar. Horas extras, right? Hora extra. Yes, work extra hours. Do you work extra hours? Yes. Yes. I do. Always. Yes. You always, okay. okay. Yes. But, but, but it's no, but no paid the extra hour. <gasps> Okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Well, yes. Janet, you are going to be Ben. I need one Jeff. Carlos. Okay, go. Okay. Jess, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. Work four week days, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really, on Saturdays? 
do you work extra hours? And how much money do you, do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much, too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolute. Absolutely. Yes. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is uh, how many, how much, right? Questions about vocabulary. Vocabulary, preguntas de vocabulario. No? Each. Each, cada. Cada. Yes, cada. Each. It says, how much money do they pay for each extra hour? So that means, ¿cuánto dinero le pagan por cada hora extra? For each extra hour. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Well. Bien. No, uh, el significado de well. Well, this one. Uh, bueno, like, por ejemplo, aquí, hey, Ben, well. Eh, hey Ben, bueno, I work five days a week. Trabajo cinco días a la semana. Es como esa expresión que decimos nosotros. Bueno, sí, right. Es una expresión. Como bueno o bien. Yes. Okay, guys. Let's move. All right. Now let's reinforce. Let's reinforce. Reforzar. Reinforce. Okay, reforzar. Reinforce. How many and how much? Okay. Uh, when do we use how many, guys? Do you remember? When do we use how many? When? When things are countable. Excellent. When things are countable. For example, hours, days, days weeks, weeks, years, etc. Right? Now, let me ask you, how many days a week do you rest? Once and a half. One and a half. Okay, very good. And how many hours a day do you work? Eight hours. Eight hours. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kevin? How many days a week? Do you rest, Kevin? One day and a half. One day and a half as well. And how many hours a day do you work? I work eight hours. Eight, eight hours. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Then how much? Okay. How much? Then how much is for? Uncountable nouns, yeah? Uncountable. For example, money, time. Nombres que no se pueden contar. Uncountable. So, how much money do they pay per extra hour? Mire cómo se dice por. También se puede decir per. Por. Okay? So, how much money do they pay per extra hour? ¿Cuánto dinero le pagan por hora extra? Per extra hour. Ah, uh, seven dollars, three dollars. I don't know, okay? It can vary. Puede variar. Number two. How much time do we have? We have 10 minutes. We have one hour. ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos, right? Cualquier cantidad. 10 minutes, one hour, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 hours, lo que sé, the tiempo. Okay? Now, let's move. Do you have any question about that? If not, read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much. Let's see, number one, how much or how many, guys? How much? How much? How much? How much? how much? Okay, so how much? How much? 
How much money is in the bank? Okay, number two, paper. How, how many? How many? How many? How, how many paper does a printer need? Are you sure, paper? Can we say uh, one paper, two papers, three it, papers? Excuse no, me, excuse me, I, I read paper. Oh, okay, <laughs> no, it's paper, okay. Yeah, so that means how much. Okay, very good, Janet, don't worry. What about ours? How many or how much? Many, so how many. many. How many, how many? about number four, information. How many or how much information? How much? How, how much? How much? How much? Yes, how much? What about days? Many. many. How many? How many? many. How many? What about employees? How many? How many? How many? And what is the meaning of employees? Empleados. Empleados. Okay. Brian Alexander, can you please help us reading uh, la uno, la dos, one, two, three, and four? Oh. How much money is, is in a bank? Yes. How much paper do paper? Does, paper does a printed net? Need, yeah. yeah. Oh, how many of a day does it work? Yes. How much information is is on the internet? On the internet, very good. On internet. Yes, Maribel, help us reading number five and six. Okay. How many days a week do you rest? Yes. How many employers do does your company have? Okay. Repeat after me, Maribel, and say employees. Employers. Das. 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 Employees. Employers. Digan de nuevo las seis. How many employers does your company have? Okay, yes, thank you, right? So how many right. employees does your company have? Very good, okay, excellent. Questions or no questions at all? No, right, I think that is clear this. Okay, let's move. And now we are going to go to different breakout rooms, okay? We are going to go to different rooms. And what are you going to do? Well, what you are going to do is the following. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente, okay? It says, write a six-line paragraph about the events and activities you and one coworker do in your company, right? Lo que va a hacer es que va a hacer seis oraciones de, los, de lo que hace usted en su trabajo. Quiero que me diga qué hace en su trabajo. Six activities, six tasks, ¿ya? Que usted hace en su trabajo, ¿ok? Lo va a hacer y van a discutir eh, sobre sus actividades con su compañero. All right, so you are going to discuss. Le voy a preguntar de su compañero y de usted. De ambos. I'll give you around 10 minutes to complete this activity. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Desde, desde que uno, desde que uno. Yes. Eh, no, Rosibel, no le escuché. Desde que uno entra y marca. Yes. Correct. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice así cuando, digamos, yo marco así de rostro? Oh, ok. Usted marca, se dice clock in, es marcar. Clock out, es, eso es clock in, es marcar de entrada. Ok, cuando ustedes marcan, cuando entran. Ajá. Y cuando ustedes salen, ajá, es ajá. Ok. 
Okay. Well, thank you, teacher. Okay. Very good. All right. Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas? Antes de irnos a las salas? Questions? Puede ser de cualquier oración, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa de lo que nos programamos. De lo que ustedes hagan, sí. De lo que ustedes hagan. Right. Ok. Let's, let's move. Ok, let's move. Let me see. Give me one second. Ok. Let's go. Teacher, yes. Um, como es una activity, activity, um, digamos, yo le puedo decir a a a él este in the morning. Yes. In the morning, eh, clock, clock in, me dijo él. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I clock in, y dice Laura. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Vaya, vaya. Esa va a ser la primera mía. In the morning. Ajá. I clock in. At. At six o'clock. Eh, hace el, reporte. Escribo reportes. Hace report. Ajá. I write report. I. At 8 p.m. Yeah. He goes. He goes to work at 8 p.m. And it starts. Estar, ajá, estar de empezar, pero agregarle la S para tercera persona, porque. Internet. Uh, she's looking for her notebook. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Pero no hemos entendido todavía bien. Vamos a compartir seis actividades que hagamos. Yes. Yo en mi trabajo y ella en su trabajo. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ok, yo escribo las de ella y ella escribe las mías, o como yeah. haríamos. Así. ¿Ah, Usted escribe las de ella y ella okay. escribe las suyas. Uh -huh. 
Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ok, entonces sí habíamos entendido. Sí. Ok, great. Bye. Quiero ver... Sí, Chef. Sí, eh, las preguntas, las preguntas que estamos haciendo son personales o, o tenemos que copiarla del compañero también. Y es, en este caso, usted tiene que decirle eh, a Rosibel lo que usted hace y ella lo tiene que anotar. Ah, okay. Y usted va a anotar lo que ella hace. Porque le voy a preguntar, pero usted tiene que saber lo que usted hace también, Brian, porque le voy a preguntar de usted y le voy a preguntar de él. Ah, oh, pues primero hacemos lo que nosotros. Yes. Entonces, sí. Me avisa cuando las tenga, Brian, para, para anotarla y decirle las mías. Ya terminó usted. Ajá, la última. Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice, digamos, armar una caja? Uh -huh. Solo, ah, ah, así, o ensamblar, ensamble sería, ¿verdad? Ah, ah, mm, assemble. Uh -huh. Assemble. Assemble a box. Assemble a box. Okay. Hey, Brian. De tantas cosas que tengo que hacer. Ah, bien. Ok. Uh, In the morning, I clock in mm -hmm. at six o'clock. In the morning. morning. Uh -huh. In the morning. Ya se la, ya anotó la primera. Yeah. In the morning, ¿qué me dice? I clock in. A club. At six. A las seis. Ajá. Es la primera. En la morning, sí. a club. Sí. La segunda. I clean my workspace. Sería. 
ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਤੂੰ ਕਿਹ ਮੈਂ ਮਾਈ ਵਰਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਮਾਈ ਵਰਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਵਰਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਬਾ ਉਨੀਦ ਯੈਸ ਓਕੇ ਯੂਰ ਵਰਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਇਸ ਇਲ ਲੁਗਰ ਦੇ ਟਰਾਬਾਹੋ ਸੀ ਮੀ ਸਪਾਸਿਓ ਹਮ ਇਲ ਆਰੀਆ ਦੇ ਟਰਾਬਾਹੋ ਇਸ ਬ੍ਰਾਇਨ ਦੇ ਵਰਕ ਸਪੇਸ ਮੀਰੇ ਇਨ ਇਲ ਇਨ ਇਲ ਚੈਟ ਬ੍ਰਾਇਨ Mm-hmm. Number three. Um, I take a breakfast at seven o'clock. Okay. Como es? I take. Okay. Huh? I take a breakfast at seven o'clock. I take. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number 4. Mhm. Mm-hmm. I clean products. I clean I clean products. Mm-hmm. Products. Se lo voy a deletrear. P R O D U C T S products products okay. okay number 5 yes i assemble i a box. assemble a box assemble assemble I assemble a box. Yes, in number 6. I pocket I pocket probes. Ah, uh, I think that, that is empacar, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Uh, so I pack I pack. I pack. Yes, I pack products. I pack products. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Salud. Ahora usted, Brian, dígale lo que usted hace. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 a, uh, ¿Cómo se ¿Cómo se dice a uh, las 8 de la mañana? At 8 in the morning. At 8 in the morning. At 8 in the morning. Ajá. Uh-huh. At 8 in the morning. At 8 in the morning. Check the area. Ah, I check the area. The, I check the area. 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 Next, number two. I I go out to sweep and clean. The... Oh, I go to sweep. Uh huh. I go to sweep and, and clean. clean. Oh. Como te dejo salgo a barrer. Okay. Ajá, como que salgo a barrer y dejo limpio todo, dejo limpio. Ok, so, I go to sweep, va a barrer, okay. I go to sweep, and, and clean, clean, and clean, and clean. clean. Eh, ¿Cómo es sweep? S-W-E-E-P. Mm-hmm. Eso es sweep. Sweep. Go to sweep. Clean, solamente eso. Yes, 
Number three. Uh, I clean the bathroom. I clean the bathroom. I clean the bathroom. Yes. Uh -huh. Bathroom. Number four. I think. Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Bueno, la re, reemplazan, reemplazan, como re, reemplazo las lámparas. I replace. I replace, I replace lamps. Replace lamps. Okay, Brian? Uh, I clean the window. I clean the windows. I clean okay. the windows. Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice ventiladores? Pan. Ah, I clean the pan. Ok. 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 Se, se escribe fan. Ah, yes. Fan. Yes. Y así se dice también, así es la pronuncia. Yes. Okay. Pan. Pan. Thank you, teacher. Ok, now practice it. En ese momento quiero que lo practiquen speaking. Oh, eh, pero personal, ¿verdad? Diciéndolas uno lo que uno hace. ¿verdad? Sí, en ese momento lo que ustedes hacen. Quiero escuchar. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Don Brian, ¿empieza usted o empiezo yo? La primera la cama, caballero siempre. Ah, ok. <ríe> ok, number one. In the morning, I... Clock at six o'clock. Number two, I clean my workspace. Sorry, I clean my workspace. And number three, I take a breakfast at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Number four, I clean products. Number five, I assemble a box. Mm -hmm. And number six, I pack pro. Okay, Brian. No. Uh, at eight, uh, a morning, I check area. Mm -hmm. I go, uh, I go to sweep and clean. Okay. I clean the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I lamp. replace. Replace. I re uh, ¿cómo se escribe? Sí. Uh, aquí se lo mandé en, en, en el chat. Disculpe, no lo veo. I, mm -hmm. I replace. Lamps. I have to clean lamps. Mm -hmm. clean, clean the window. I clean windows. I clean windows. Uh, I clean fans. Very good. Yes. I se le quita el, the window. Yes. It's not necessary. No es necesario, pero si lo dice the windows, está bien. No, no hay ningún inconveniente. Bueno, bueno, bueno. I have a question. Yes. Este... Cuando diga la de ella, la, las, las cosas que hace ella, como tengo que decir, she, 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 oh, she, she, ajá, eh, ella, she, is, no, no, va a decir, ah, va a decir, vaya, ¿cuál es la primera de ella? Ah, she, ah, she, in the morning, a clock, a six, uh, and six, a clock. Ok, she clocks in. At six o'clock in the morning. She, 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 uh -huh, she clocks in 
at six in the morning. Yes, at six in the morning. Yeah, I think uh, she clean, cleans uh, your worst face. No, cleans no. her. Cleans, la S, póngale la S al verbo. Cleans. Uh, she cleans. Hair. 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 Hair work space. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, she take. No, no, sería. Uh -huh. She yeah. take. Um, and seven o'clock. <laughs> uh -huh. She takes. She breakfast. Breakfast at seven o'clock. Yes. Póngale la S. Uh -huh. uh, she cleans fruit. Así. She cleans. She cleans fruit. Products. 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 She assembles a box. She assembles. She, uh, she assembles. Yes. A Products. Box. Okay. Let's go. She, mm -hmm. Okay. She, she, packs, she packs products. She packs products. Que no se le olvide la S. Póngale la S, Brian. Ah, es que como es tercera persona, la tengo que yes. poner. Mm -hmm. She packs products. Yes, packs. Packs. Yes, que suene esa S. Okay, let's go to the main room. Vámonos a la sala principal. Okay, let's go. Yes. The classroom practice. This meeting is being okay, recorded. guys. So let's see. And let me let me share my screen. Okay. So let me ask. Uh, let me see the teams that we have right here. Okay. Let me ask first. Um, Janet and your teammate. Okay. And Carlos okay. Amaya. Oh, but Carlos is not here. Yeah. Um, yes. Go. Carlos. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey. Carlos. Carlos. He, he takes pictures to clients. Okay. He usually edits pictures. Yes. He handles customer inquiries. Uh -huh. He prints the pictures. Yes. He sends emails to clients. Okay. Now, Carlos, what about Janet? What does she do? Janet calls customer, uh, she checks her email, she answers questions to customers, mm -hmm. she prepares files of credit, mm -hmm. she makes sales reports, mm -hmm. she visits clients. She visits clients. Very good. Carlos Vega and your team. Uh, okay. Uh is Kevin and Joel. Okay, go. Okay, Joel, he goes to work at eight o'clock. Okay. Uh, Kevin, he sings a 10 control books. Okay. Joel, he prepares the customer cars. Okay. Kevin, he checks the email. Okay. The emails. Uh, Joel, he he looks for the he looks for the tools. Okay. Kevin, he makes call to clients. Okay. Joel, he he takes a break time. Okay. Kevin, he drinks coffee at ten o'clock. 
-hmm. And well, he orders a workplace. The workplace. Okay. Now, um, just remember, si, si dice el nombre, ya no tiene que agregar el he. Okay. Ah, okay. No, yeah. yo para que diferenciara que eran de Joel y de Kevin. Ah, de okay, Kevin. got it, got it, got it. Okay, perfect, excellent. Kevin. Una consulta, teacher. Okay. En ordenar, no sería ordered y tedious. Así, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Oh, tidy. Tidy. Yes, it's es... better tidy. Es mejor utilizar el tidy. Para ordenar. Correct. Excelente, gracias. Ok, go, Kevin. Your turn. Su turno, Kevin. Ok. Eh... Ok, Maribel. Sería de Joel. Yes. He, he goes to work at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. He prepares the course of the clients. Ok. He looks for the tools of the world. Mm -hmm. He takes a break time. He orders of his workplace. Okay. Uh, the Carlos Seria. He checks the emails. Okay. He have he have meanings white client. He has, okay. He has. He does system tests. Okay. He visits companies to try them. To try them. Okay. He, he, he makes reports. Very good. Thank you. All right. Joel. Uh, well, uh, the Carlos. He chick. His email. Okay, his email. His email. Uh, the Kevin, he sings a day control book. Okay. The, the Carlos, he, he has meetings with, with clients. Mm -hmm. Clients. Clients. The Kevin, he. He cheek, he cheeks his image. Okay. The, the Carlos, he does, he does his system online. The, the Kevin, the, he, he made, he makes a call to clients. Okay, he makes call Okay, client. Okay. Client. Okay. The the Carlos. He he visit company for training. For try them. Okay. The training. He the the Kevin. He drinks coffee at ten o'clock. He drinks coffee at ten o'clock. The okay. the Carlos. Mm -hmm. He makes reports. He makes reports. Okay, well. Um, sin, el, sin el de, all right? Solo diga el nombre de la persona, Carlos, okay? Carlos. Carlos, yes. Carlos, Kevin. Carlos makes reports. Like that. Así. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's continue, okay? Let's continue. Let's move, all right? So right now, uh, let's move to this, okay? We have how many or how much? Okay, number one. How many or how much? How much? How, how many? Much? How many? Okay, so how many or how much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Are you sure? How many? How many? Okay, so. How many. many, okay? How many letters, okay? How many letters? Cuántas cartas? How many letters? How many yes, all right. Or depending on the context, right? So what about number two? How many or how much? How much? How much? 
How much? much? Because sugar is uncountable. Number three, how many or how much? How much? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many people? Number four, how much or how many? How much? How much? Number five, how many or how much? How much? How much? How much? Number six, how many or how much? How many? How many? Number seven, how many or how much? How many? How many? How many? And number eight, how many or how much? How many? How much? Or how much? How much? How many? How many? How many? Okay, how many? Yes, because we have child and children, so countable, okay? What about number nine? How many, how many or how much? Many. How many? How many? How many? And number 10, how many or how much? How many? How many? How many? Okay, very good. Andrea Lisbeth, can you please help us reading? Ayúdenos a leer de la 1 a la 5, from 1 to 5, and Ronald from 6 to 10. Okay. How many letters can you see? Mm -hmm. How much sugar do you want? How many people can fit in this room? How much butter do you need for the cake? Mm -hmm. How much chocolate do you consume? Do you consume a week? Okay. Next. Thank you. Okay. How many cups of water do you drink daily? How many mugs are they are there in a year? How many children are there in the garden? How many cars are there in the garage? How many pencils can fit in your pencil box? Thank you. All right, guys, repeat after me and say letters. 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 Butter. 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 Chocolate. 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 Excellent. No es chocolate, right? No es chocolate. It is chocolate. 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 Yes. Now repeat chocolate. after me and say consume. Consume. Yes. Consume. And now say pencils. 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 Pencil. 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 Very good. Okay, guys. Excellent. You did a well job right here. Okay. Le hicieron super bien. Very good. Okay. Let's move. And now let's focus on grammar, but the simple present third person. Vamos a reforzar presente simple tercera persona. Okay. So let's see. We are going to start by talking about the following. Okay. Thank you, Maribel. Okay. So, as you remember, the third person, we need to add the letter S to the verb, right? So, number one, my brother might, which is the third person of a study? Studies. Studies. Studies, right? Studies. Okay, pronunciation, studies. studies. Number two, he? Have. Have. Hi, hi, how? How? Has. 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 Okay. Okay, guys. Remember this. So we have have and we also have has, right? Tenemos esos dos verbos que significan tener. No. We use have with I, you, we, and they. Ooh. Para estos utilizamos have. Right? Para estos. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yo tengo, tú tienes, nosotros tenemos, ellos tienen. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now, we also have has. And has is for she, he, and it. Terceras personas. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ella tiene, él tiene, eso tiene. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, he has. He has 
several exams every year. Now, let me ask you something. If you want to say, guys, for example, um, yo tengo 10 años. ¿Cómo dice yo tengo 10 años? ¿Cómo dice la edad? I have, I I, have I, 10 years old. Okay. I am, yes, I am very 10 good. years old. I, I am, am 10 years old. Okay, guys. Eh, this is for everybody, right? Remember, cuando hablamos de la edad, el verbo tener no es el have ni el has, sino que vamos a utilizar el verbo to be. ¿Sí? So, in this case, if you want to say your age, si quiere decir su edad, va a decir I am. Siempre. ¿Ok? Nunca en la vida vamos a decir have. Jamás. Siempre vamos a decir I am 20 years old, I am 21 years old, I am 40 years old, I am 32 years old, I am 33 years old, ¿ok? Y para decir que él tiene 50 años, he is. Sigue siempre la regla del verbo to be. ¿Ok? Don't forget about that. So now, number three, he always... Passes. 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 Passes, ok, passes, porque es tercera persona, le tenemos que agregar la es, ok, passes, now what about number four, my mom usually goes, 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 goes. ok, yes, fíjese bien en la pronunciación, goes, right, very good, So now, questions, dudas, preguntas hasta aquí? No? no questions. No questions? All right. No questions? Nobody? Okay. Let's move. All right, let's move. Now, let's move to this one. Simple present tense. Siempre presente simple, tercera persona en ese momento. Okay? So let's see. Uh, number one. Jenny really like or likes 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 like with s like. or without s with like. s with s okay guys vocabulario si yo le digo with s le estoy preguntando con s y si le digo yo without s sin s oh, okay, okay. So now, here, with S or without S? With S. Without with S. Okay, I heard that somebody okay, said the without. The third one, yeah. Okay. The first one is with S. Okay, so the first one is with S. Okay, with S. Con S, yes. Okay, because says Jenny. He, ella. Entonces, sí tenemos que seguir la regla de las terceras personas. Jenny es ella, tercera persona. Jenny really likes Sam with S. Number two, does Sammy like, 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 like without like. S? Without S. Okay. Uh, without S. Without S. Teacher, ¿y por qué entonces ahora le, no le pone la S? Because it is a question. Porque es una pregunta. Las preguntas no van a ir con la letra S. ¿Ok? Solamente las oraciones positivas. Positive sentences. Number three. Sadly, Sammy doesn't... Likes... Nice. With S. With S or without S? With S. With S. Without, okay. without S. Without S. Without. Okay. All right. Here, without. Yes. Why? Por qué? Why? Um, Because it is a negative, negative sentence. Yes, oh. es negativa. En las negativas tampoco le agregamos S. Solamente en las positivas. Positive. What about number four? They absolutely love swing music. 
Okay, love with without s. Love without s. Love with that. Why without s? No. ¿Por qué because si it's plural. Because we have they. No tenemos tercera persona, tenemos they, ellos, plural. Con los plurales no utilizamos S, solamente con las terceras personas, their person. ¿Y cuáles son las terceras personas? He, she, and it. Únicamente esas tres. All right. Number five. We always... Has or have? Have. 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 Yeah. Have. All right. So we always have a swim in the river. ¿Qué es el river? A river es el? Rio. 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 Yes. Before lunch. ¿Por qué es have y no has, guys? La tercera persona. Because... No, no. For we. Yes, we. Uh -huh, muy we. Bien. Yes, because it is we. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let's move. Let's move. Okay. So now, now you are going to write three sentences. Ahora ustedes van a escribir tres oraciones en tercera persona. Puede ser positiva, negativa o pregunta, pero en tercera persona. Yeah. Third person. Tres oraciones y me las manda al chat. ¿Ok? Individualmente. Individually. Individually. Eh, but before I'm going to take the attendance, le voy a pasar asistencia. ¿Ok? So, Amanda Yesenia. Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel. Dina Maribel. Perdón, Enrique. present. Thank present. You. Enrique Arturo. Present. Thank you. Eh, Janet Amaya. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto. Joel. Present. Thank teacher. You. Juan Carlos Joel. Here. Thank you. Eh, Kevin Adiel. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto. Luis Giovanni. Mirna Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Noemi Claribel. Noemi. Eunice Álvarez. Eunice. Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Ronald Eduardo Montes. Present. Yes, thank you. Rosibel Hernández. Teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Yes, Eunice. Sí, David. Jancy Odalis. Kenny Alexandra. And Marlon Orlando Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let me check the, the sentences. Okay. It says the teacher. Okay. Uh, Teaches, ok, teaches, tiene que ser teaches posible, teaches. Um, he eats in the morning, yes, correct, Joel. Uh, Mirna, she eats chocolate, yes, that is correct. Carlos Vega, he plays the guitar, Maria makes reports, and she eats chicken, yes, Carlos, very good. He, well, Joel, es esta incompleta. Rosibel, my sister, oh, my sister, okay, my, my sister works, my, hey, my. Uh, okay. Yes. Then Mirna, she cleans the house, very good. 
Uh, Ronald, Vanessa likes to play soccer. Very good. Kevin, she visits the family. Very good. Excelente, okay. Kevin, do you have the car? Oh, Kevin, esa no es tercera persona. Just third person. Just third person. Únicamente terceras personas. I mean, see, Carlos Amaya, she doesn't like chocolate. He loves football. Does she like? Does she like to dance? To dance. Enrique, she works every day. Oh, every day? Okay, every day se escribe every day. Okay. He goes shopping at the, she goes shopping to the supermarket, to, to the supermarket. My friend drives a car. Le faltó el artículo A. A car. A. A car. Janet, uh, she cooks dinner. My mother cooks a delicious chicken soup. My brother paints the house. Yes, very good. Uh, Mirna, he calls every day. Yes. Andrea, she drinks coffee. Yes. Joel, he reads books. He normally, oh. He normally plays, le faltó la S. He normally plays soccer in the afternoon. Okay. Very good. Um, I'm missing some of you. Me faltan algunos. Okay. Send your sentences. Mándeme las oraciones. Kevin, she works all week. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Ronald starts work at 7 a.m. Yes, it starts. Okay, it starts. It starts, okay. Um, okay, guys, let's continue. Okay. Um, see, he likes football. Yes, Enrique. Very good. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, los que no han terminado, mándela siempre, que ya la voy a ver. Okay, now let's move to reading. Okay, reading. And this one is in the third person, tercera persona. Okay, so let's see. Um, I need one volunteer to read. Thank yeah. you, Carlos. Uh, okay, so okay, so first Carlos Amaya, después Mirna, yo le voy a decir cuando continúa Mirna, pero en ese momento Carlos Amaya, el primer párrafo, okay? All right, let's go. Okay. Fred is a fireman. He's big and strong. He works at the fire station. He helps people every day. He gets up at five o'clock in the morning. He takes a shower and puts on his clothes. Then he eats breakfast at six o'clock. At quarter past six, he rides his bike to the fire station. Perfect. Mirna. Continue? Okay. Oh, no, thank you, Carlos. Okay. Fred starts work at seven o'clock. He cleans his dad and boots. Then he talks with his friend. Sometimes he puts old fires and helps people. He cleans the fire engine in the afternoon. He goes home at five o'clock. In the evening, he takes a shower and he watches the TV. He has dinner at half past six. Then he plays football with his friend and 10 o'clock he goes to bed. That was excellent, okay? 
Very good job. So guys, you uh, did you listen to Carlos and Mirna? They read this and they said all of the verbs in third person. Todos los verbos los dijeron en tercera persona. Todos, right? So very good, right? Thank you. Yes, very good. Then do you have any question? Alguien que tenga alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Question. Okay. Let's move. Okay, let's move. Um, okay, let's move. Now, another reading. Okay, so I need three volunteers, three, to read. Mirna, okay, one. Luis, number two. Me. And Rosibel. Okay, so Mirna, the first paragraph, Luis, the second one, and Rosibel, the third one. Okay. 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 I am Tim Black. I am a doctor. I work at a hospital. My wife, Kim, is a teacher. She teaches music at a college. We get up at seven o'clock every morning. Kim, Kim set the table and we have breakfast. Kim likes toast and tea. But I don't. I eat an egg and I drink milk at breakfast. Then we leave home at a quarter past eight. Thank you. Luis. I start to work at nine o'clock. I am very busy. So I can have a break at half past. 12. I have lunch at the hospital cafeteria. The food and the cafeteria is very good. So I don't go, go up for lunch. Kim returned home at three o'clock in the afternoon. And I come back at five o'clock. Afterward, we have dinner at half past six. I watch TV in the evening, mm -hmm. but Kim doesn't, she read a book or she listen to music. Mm -hmm. We go to be bed early after the tired day. Okay, thank you. Rosibel. At weekends, we go to the cinema or theater. My wife and I like, and I like shopping. So we usually go on shopping on Saturday. We have a holiday every August. We often go to Izmir in Turkey for a holiday and ride a bike and Kim walks around because around because she doesn't know how to ride a bike we like is is very much so go to there every summer thank you okay guys first of all let's focus on pronunciation and vocabulary okay so okay. remember that this word is going to be Busy. B. B. Busy. Okay. Yeah. Then this one is going to be 12. 12. 12. Yes. Okay. This one is cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. Cafeteria. cafeteria. Yeah. Then we also have this one, which is dinner. D. Dinner. Dinner. And we have this one, which is evenings. Evenings. Eve, repeat. Evenings. Evenings. 
Yes, evenings. Yeah. Then we have this one, which is August. Oh, August. 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 Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. August. Yes, guys. Now. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. So let's see. Let's move. And now let's answer the questions, okay? So let me ask you. What, what does Mr. Black do in the evening? What does he do? Watch TV. He? He watches TV. He watches TV. Very good. Mira que está. Okay. It says, I come back at five o'clock. Yes. And afterwards, we have dinner at half past six. I watch TV in the evenings. So, he, porque es tercera persona, recuerde, estamos hablando de él, entonces vamos a decir, he watches TV. TV. Very good. Number two. Where, where, where do the black go for a holiday? Where? Izmir in Turkey. They go to Izmir. Excellent. They go to Izmir in Turkey. Very good. Mire, aquí está. Here. It says we often go to Izmir in Turkey for holiday. Very good. Number three. Where does Tim have lunch? Where? Where does he have lunch? Where? He has lunch at the cafeteria in the hospital. Okay, so he has lunch at the cafeteria. At the cafeteria. Yes, at the cafeteria. Yeah. At the hospital cafeteria. At the hospital cafeteria. Very good. Okay. Period. Punto para indicar que la oración ya finalizó. Okay. Number four. Does Kim work at a college? Yes, she does. Excellent. Yes, she does. Very good. And the last question says, does Tim read a book in the evenings? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, me caí. Vamos a aquí. No, he doesn't. What does he do in the evenings? Watch TV. He watches TV. Very good. Okay, do you have questions, guys? Questions, doubts, dudas, preguntas. No? Okay. Isher, Izmir is, is the lo mismo in Turkey. Yes. Uh, it's a place. It's a place. Okay. Place. Okay. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now let's move. And now it's time for the quiz. Ahora sí vamos a tomar el quiz. Bye. El quiz es de las terceras personas. Terceras personas y presentes sin. ¿Ok? Yo espero que todos salgamos bien. ¿Ok? Now, once you finish, once you finish, ¿ok? Cuando ya termine, once you finish, you need to say, teacher, I am done. Or, teacher, I finish. Me va a decir que ya terminó. I finish. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer cuando ya termine? We are going to move to time to speak. Okay, with your partner. And we are going to start with this role play. So, uno va a hacer la A y el otro va a hacer la B. Y después van a cambiar. El que fue la B va a ser la A y el que fue la A va a ser la B. Yes. Va a completar. Miren. Hi. Hi, Rosibel. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you play soccer, Rosibel? No, I no, don't. <laughs> no, I don't. 
hecho, ¿ok? Usted decide si utiliza esta que es la positiva o la negativa. Por eso les he agregado las dos, ¿ok? So, do okay. you use the computer at work? No, I don't. Ok, do you have dinner at 7 p.m.? Yes, I do. Do you wake up at 5 a.m.? Uh, no, I don't. Do you uh, exercise? Yes, on Saturday and Sunday. Excellent. Do you take a bus? Yes, I do. Do you shave every day? Shave, teacher. Shave, rasurarse, shave. Um, it's a personal. Okay. Yeah. okay, do you say every day? Okay, no, I don't, all right. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Okay, okay guys. <laughs> Then we are going to move. Sorry. Don't worry, okay? So now we are going to move. To this, answer the questions about Garfield, ¿ok? You are going to decide. Usted va a decidir con su compañero con el que esté practicando, ¿ok? okay. So we have six questions. For example, does Garfield take a shower at 6 a.m.? Mm, I think that no, he doesn't because he is lazy, ¿ok? But I don't know what you think. No sé si usted cree que sí o no. Usted decide con su compañero. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, and so on. We have many, many conversation questions right here. Tenemos bastantes preguntas para que converse. Okay? But first, the quiz. Primero, el examen. Okay? The quiz. Um, so, I'm going to send it here in the chat. Se lo voy a mandar aquí en el chat. O váyase a su hoja de trabajo. Ahí está también. But for the ones that can't go there, para los que no se pueden ir a la hoja de trabajo, en el chat, se los mando. Bye. Don't, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. All right. So, y ahí está el código. Okay, guys? Okay, Carlos, thank you. Uh, once we have another uh, student, I'm going to send you to a different room, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, 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 Mirna. Okay, Mirna. Teacher, tengo el mismo problema, no puedo ingresar porque oh, yes, yes. Que hay un potencial riesgo. Yes. Y ni de su celular lo puede hacer. Voy a intentarlo. Uh -huh. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, Marlon. ¿Me puede compartir? Uh, I shall place in the link for really? the example. Yes. For the example. For the example. Yeah, look in the chat. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. Ese es el, el, el link. Y por si no tiene la hoja de trabajo, también es ese. Thank you. 
Teacher, excuse me. Where, where, where are the material and the of the class now today? Today. Okay, I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. Give me one second, okay? Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, here we go. Mm, okay, so. As okay, give me one second. All right. So as you can see right here, um, look at my screen, Marlon. Yeah. Yes, yes, I watch. Very good. So uh, we have the days right here, right? So those are the classes: class one, class two, class three, and this is the class four, November twenty fourth. Okay, thank you. So, yeah. okay. Click click on that and you will open the, the class. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Oh, no, no. Let me see. I, I can see that. Okay, Andrea Lisbeth. Okay, Janet. Okay, and Jacqueline. Okay, Kevin. Okay, all right. Let me see. Poem in Ms. Poem Okay. And... Okay, Luis. Luis, Marlon, okay. Messi, Luis, Marlon. I finished, Tisha. Thank you. Rona, Rosiven. Finish the term. Thank you. Yes. 
Hola. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Dígame. Dice que con, con lo de el examen. Okay. Logré identificar en las que me equivoqué, solo una no me queda claro. Que ah, es la... Andrea, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Permítame. Which one? Eh, la tres que dice, eh, bueno, que la correcta es, she doesn't like pizza, yes. pero no sé si es porque se está refiriendo a la pizza y entonces no es en tercera persona. Oh. Ah, vaya. Es que lo que sucede en esta, ¿verdad? Ajá, en la otra. Vaya, lo que sucede en esta es lo siguiente. Acá, básicamente, si se fija, dice, she doesn't likes. Mire, lleva la S. Y cuando utilizamos el auxiliar doesn't, el verbo va en su forma base. Ah, Ok. Pero, ok, sí, las demás ya, ya logré identificar cuál era el error, solo esa no, no me quedaba. Ok, very good. Ok, continue. Gracias. Ok. Ok, A Enrique, ok. Carlos Alberto Vega, ok. Enrique. En Carlos. Ok, let me see. Brian Alexander. Ok. Ok. Eh, Janet. Brian recibió la invitación para irse a la sala. Ahorita. Okay. Thank you. Ahorita. Okay. Maribel. Yeah, teacher. ¿Pudo hacer el, el, el examen? No, no lo pude hacer, no me dejó ingresar. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué le dice cuando ingresa? Me decía eh, eh, acceso incorrecto. Se lo envié al chat. Ok. Eh, Amanda. Hola. No, Hi. yo tampoco lo he hecho. Hi. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Bueno, pero sí tiene los links, Amanda. Eh, no, no los tengo. Bueno. Perdón. No. Eh, ¿Me lo podría compartir aquí al chat? Yes. Ah, bueno. Ahí está. Eh, Maribel, déjeme ver, Maribel. Sí, vaya. Eh, Maribel tiene que copiar exactamente ese código que le mando. Mire, solo copie y péguelo. Para que la deje entrar. El que está abajo, teacher. Sí, el que está Thank 
Luis Giovanni. Teacher, eh, no es cuando estoy en la sala no escucho a ni a Marlon ni a... No sé si estamos silenciados porque él no me escucha ni yo lo escucho. Uh -huh. okay. Uh, ok, don't worry. Let me move you with... En la sala 4 yo me salí. Uh, okay. Voy a ir a ver qué pasa. Thank you. ¿Me pueden ingresar de nuevo? Eh, lo mandé a la sala 3. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Um, ¿Pudo, Maribel? Sí, señor, ya estuvo. Okay. Gracias. Ok, let me see. Amanda López, ok. Um, Ahora sí. Ok, thank you. Ok, Amanda, so let me see. Voy a, la voy a mandar con. Yes, room four. Let's see if they are able to listen. Okay. And by Marina. Okay. Yo voy a regresar, Maribel, ¿ok? No ha terminado todavía, ¿verdad? No he terminado, teacher, todavía. Okay. Déjeme, voy a ir a verificar las demás salas, cómo están haciendo, y ya regreso, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Okay. Uh, how is share every day? Bañarse, ok, share, share, share. Shower? Bañarse. La última, sí, share. Yeah. S-H-A-V-E. Oh, no, no. Share. Shave. No. Shave. 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 Shave es rasurarse, guys. Rasurarse. Ah, ok. Yes. Shave. Yes, I do. Yeah. Very good. Sí. Yes, I do. Uh, use the computer at work. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, I, I, I normally, I normally, uh, I normally use it in, in the work. At work. I, at work. Yes. Do you have dinner at 6 p.m.? Oh, dinner. Seven. Dinner. No, 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 I don't. Uh, do you wake I, up? I do have dinner at, at 8 p.m. How often do you cook? Her, her, como pronuncia, herly, ever? Early ever, so times, often, or every day. Hardly, hardly ever. ever. Yeah, hardly ever. Esa, ahorita, mira. Hagamos esta, mira, que yo capture la pantalla. Porque no me deja entrar a eso de drive, fíjate. Vaya, si querés, hagamos ese. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Okay. Don't ah, worry. Teacher. Don't worry. Yeah. teacher, no puedo entrar yo no, al no. módulo, o sea, a mi usuario, como usuario, con el correo y la clave genérica que nos mandan. No, no me está dejando entrar. Ah, usted me le informó, ¿verdad? No, esta es primera vez, ayer y todos estos días se ha podido, pero hoy no puedo, me da error. Mi contraseña es inválida, dice. Uh -huh. Bien raro. Mm, vaya, quiero ver. Trate nuevamente, no sé, y me dice si no, sí voy a, a informar. 
Vaya, mi correo, carlos.vega, arroba banco cuscatlán punto com, la contraseña, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Iniciar sesión. Ahora sí. Vale. Es que cuando entró usted le dio miedo. <risa> ¿Cómo? A, a la página, a la página. <risa> Intimidó la página, sí. Intimidó a la página, sí, es cierto. Ok. Pero, Pero mira. Me sale módulo uno, teacher. Entonces no le han activado el principiante 2. Pero como no, ayer estaba en el 2, todos esos días he estado en el 2. Bien raro está. Uh -huh. Quizás, quizás lo, lo, lo explico mañana en el chat, vea que uh -huh. en donde nos, nos mandan las clases y todo para uh -huh. reportarlo, a ver qué, qué me dicen. Uh -huh. Sí, porque quizás algo, algún update o algo ha pasado que ya no tiene el principiante 2. Bajé. Pero mira, ahí, te lo, ahí lo compartí en el grupo ya, general, ya. Carlos. Ahí lo, sí, ver. ahí lo tengo ya. Ah, si querés, empecemos con esa primera página. Sería la página uh, el, Take el Turns with practice. Your Partners. Ajá. Ajá. Si querés, empiezo yo, vaya. Dale. Hi, how are you? Hi, Enrique. Uh, how are you? Hello, Carlos. I am fantastic. Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Do you use the computer at Okay, Maribel. Ready? Hello. <laughs> Listo, maestra. Okay. So let's see. Eh, vaya. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? ¿O alguna duda? Perdón, teacher. En esta sí no entendí nada. Vaya. Ok. Veamos. Gracias. Vaya. Eh... Vaya. Le voy a, a explicar la respuesta de cada una. ¿Sí? Entonces, la primera, ¿sí? La primera, Maribel, eh, yeah. es We study English, ¿ok? Porque no puede hacer study es porque este verbo como es en tercera persona, pero we no es tercera persona. ¿Cuáles okay. son las terceras personas en inglés, Maribel? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? She. ¿Mm? They. No. Las terceras personas, he, she, and it. Okay. ok. Entonces, ese no es ninguno de esos tres, mire, es we. Ok. Entonces, por eso no podemos poner tercera persona. Okay. ok. Ahora, con la número dos, fíjense bien en la estructura. Cuando estamos agregando auxiliares como el don, que es un verbo auxiliar, no vamos a poner ese al verbo. El verbo va a ir en su forma base. Okay. ok. Lo mismo pasa en esa. Mire, como llevamos el auxiliar, no podemos poner con S. Tiene que ser sin la S. Está bien. Okay. Vale. Ahora, este, ¿se recuerda que al principio yo le dije que no, nunca podemos decir she has? Así estamos hablando de la edad. Entonces va a ser she is. Ok. Después tenemos esta. My dog play with its ball. Entonces, como my dog es tercera persona, tenemos que agregarle la S. Sí. Ok. Bye. Y esta. En estas dos tenemos Susan and Floor. Tenemos a dos personas. Por lo tanto, es plural. No podemos ponerle S al verbo. Entonces, okay. la correcta es esa. ¿Ok? okay. En este caso, eh, quiero ver, Maribel, cuándo le toca el feedback a usted. Mañana, teacher. Mañana, ¿verdad? Sí. Vale. Mañana vamos a quedar para que usted me diga cuáles son todas las preguntas que tiene. ¿O quiere quedarse ahora? Lo siento, es que falleció mi perrito, entonces tengo que ir a ver. Ay, lo siento. Mucho. 
Ok, eh, bueno, en este caso ya casi vamos a terminar, no sé si pues eh, eh, si tiene que retirar, no se preocupe. Ok. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Marlon, you are the letter A, and Brian, you are the letter B. Okay. Hi, Brian. How are you? Hello, Marlon. I am fantastic. Do you play soccer, Brian? Oh. Okay. Está de más agregar el nombre, verdad? Sí, lo soy. Do you Play, play soccer. Yes, en yes. Ese, ese caso como repetitivo, porque le estoy diciendo Ajá. to you, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá, sí. Yes, yeah, I do. Do you use the computer at work? No, no, I don't. Do you have dinner at 7 p.m.? Yes, I do. Do you wake up 5 a.m.? Yes, I do. Do you exercise? Um, not, I not. <laughs> not, I don't. Do you take a bus? Yes, I do. Do you share every day? Yes, I do. Okay. Observation dinner. Okay. Dinner. Okay. Dinner. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Luis Giovanni, letter A, and Joel, letter B. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hello, I am fantastic. Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Uh, I do play soccer in, in the afternoon. Do you use the computer at work? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I normally use uh, my computer 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 uh, in my world at work at work at work do you have diner at 7 p.m dinner no okay. no no i don't uh, uh, i do have um, dinner at seven o'clock Do you make make up at 5 a.m.? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. I get up at six o'clock. Do you exercise? Mm, yes, I do. Ahí se me se perdió la. Me sale otra. Ahí está. <laughs> do you take take a bus? A bus? Do you take a bus? Yes, I do. Uh, I take a I take a bus. Do you say every day? Mm, yes, I do. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. So just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. We are going to continue with the simple present tense tomorrow. Okay, we are going to reinforce some areas with some of you. Then guys, uh let me ask uh is Carlos Alberto Vega? Here? No, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, okay. So, Carlos, please, you stay, all right? Because of okay. the Then the other ones, guys, you may go ahead and rest, okay? Have a good night. Thank you for connecting, okay? Thank you. Good I'll night. Good 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 night. Okay, so I think that, okay. So Carlos, 
Let me ask you, how do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? I feel good. You feel good? All right. So, uh, well, this space is for us to talk about classes. If you have any question about any topic, um, if you're having some issues with the platform, right? So for you to tell me how you feel with the dynamic of the class, how do you feel with your classmates, right? Whenever we go to the breakout rooms, how do you feel with them, etc. You can tell me whatever you want about the class. In English or Spanish? Uh, well, if you want to use English, use English. And if not, Spanish and English, it's okay. No, mejor en español. <laughs> okay, tell me. Pero, pero usted hábleme solo en, en inglés, que All voy right. a tratar de entender. Ok, perfecto. Este, me siento bastante bien. La clase es súper dinámica, eso sí. Mm -hmm. eh, en los break rooms, súper bien también. Las personas son bastante respet respetuosas. Okay. Así que nos entendemos bastante bien. Este, trabajamos rápido. Mm -hmm. Siento que sí vamos bien rápido. O sea, la clase en general, pero entendible. Okay. Eh, he ido a otros cursos y que, que, que es changoneta, ¿eh? entonces este sí siento que, que, que está entendible, sí siento deficiencia y de hecho hoy me volvió a salir en el examen en el tema de, eh, no sé cómo se puede decir y, y justamente eso, porque el tema de hablar de otra persona, ¿cómo se llama eso? Third person. Eh, esa tercera, third person, sí lo domino, pero cuando ya me empiezan a meter como, como el pre, si es presente, pasado, yes. eso, 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 ahí es donde estoy fallando, siento yo. Ok, all right. Yes. Um, so, yes, I think that, you know, the simple present tense, when we talk about third persons, mm -hmm. it is complex. It is complex, okay? And the only way how you need to, or how you can improve in this case is going to be practicing right mm -hmm. taking exams uh, practicing with your classmates doing exercises all of the things that we do here in the class that helps of course it needs to be every single day so you remember mm -hmm. right so then uh with the exam this one you mean this one right the one sí. that okay so yes, uh -huh. yeah choose the correct option okay so as you remember with the simple present tense, we have the structure and the structure is subject, right? Mm -hmm. verb, and complement that is for positive sentences. But when it comes to negative sentences, we have Ready? subject, sí. auxiliary verb, okay. verb in base form and complement. So. Okay, Entonces, si, solo para entenderle. Si es negativo, la respuesta, si, si estoy hablando de una tercera persona en negativo, siempre va a ser en la base del verbo, sin cambiar. Correct. Ok. And that's why this one is incorrect, because this one has sí. S, right? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. So, yeah, it was this one. Ok. And this one. Ok. Ah, esa tuve duda. Cuando right. hablaba de All dos right. personas. Two, right? So that means that it's plural. Mm -hmm. So with plurals, we do not use S. Siempre queda como base el verbo también. Exactly. Okay. Because if we say Susan and Flor, we say they. Si hubiera dicho they, si cambia a makes. No. In this no, case, tampoco. Susan and Flor is they. Ah, sí, ya, 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 ya. Son ellas, right? Yeah. Sí. Ok. And this one. Eh... Sí, ahí sí fallé, pero ahí sí se me fue. Ok. Yeah, because in this case, because of the two, right? Sí. El two. Because we have two verbs, porque tenemos dos verbos. Sí, solo es el, el primero el que cambia. A ver. Yeah, so Marta likes to, to play soccer. Mm -hmm. Ok. To play and soccer. Uh, yeah, aquí. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the rule says, right? Hay, hay una regla que dice que cuando llevamos dos verbos juntos, así como esto, vamos a poner el tú en el medio. Ok, ok, mm -hmm. eso no sabía. Sí, mañana vamos a ver eso para que eh, clarifiquemos. Ah, ok. Así es, mañana. Pero sí, okay. en este caso okay. es una regla. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh -huh. uh, well, basically, that's pretty much. I will say that yes, you need to focus on plural, right? You need to you need to focus because I mean, you know, this the only thing is that you need to like I will say uh, to analyze, right? The, the okay. sentence in practice. Uh, in practice. Uh -huh. Because you know, this one was correct, this one was correct, this one was correct, correct. I mean, correct, correct, correct. The first quiz, the first quiz is, uh, how do you say, super mal me fue. Uh, okay, so it, it was terrible. It was terrible. Okay. But this one you the got second, seven. The second, the second 10, 10. Okay, <laughs> yes, okay, so. We are going to take another one tomorrow, okay? So let's see, uh -huh. another one tomorrow. Okay, so now let me ask you, eh, Carlos, how long have you been studying English? How long? Yeah, how long? Repítame la pregunta, solo yeah. para ver si la capté. Okay, so how long have you been studying English? Been. Eso, no sé qué significa, what it means. Ok, estado. ¿Cuánto tiempo he estado estudiando inglés? Correct. Eh, cuando era pequeño, lo, un rato, cuando tenía como 15 años. Ok. En la Academia Europea. All right, and were you in the previous module, principiante 1? No, eh, me hicieron el examen. Ok. Eh, como para dónde dónde iba a empezar y que okay. quedé en este. Uh -huh. All right, perfect. Okay. okay. No tuve base del primer del primer examen, uh -huh. mm -hmm. de la primer módulo, vea. Pero pero sí las estoy captando yeah. ahorita en el aire. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Okay. So let me see what else. Um. Well, in general, um, you feel good right now, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Then, well, um, I would say that you are i mean you participate right and that's something really nice so please try to participate every single class right every single class try to participate if you have questions ask right if you have doubts ask so um then i really like that you participate and i hope you keep participating through all the module right because that is going to help you out a lot okay okay then um also if you have uh issues with the platform please let me know because i need to report that as well right let me know if you have issues with the platform yeah with the i know yeah. ya, ya puedo ingresar. okay perfect um well basically that's pretty much all right so i think that you are really motivated to to learn right so i think that that is good so do not lose that motivation that you have keep motivated okay. okay connect on time do not miss any class right and well that's pretty much all right so i really thank you because i mean you participate a lot right and that's really nice and i and i have seen that you when I, whenever i go inside the breakout room you are participating and you are like talking with your classmate and i think that you are like having fun and enjoying right so i think that that is really good and well um well thank you right and thank you for being responsible and connect on time as well okay thank you, thank you. Right. okay all right so i don't know if you have any other question uh something else that you would like to add no 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 okay perfect so we're going to stop right here the feedback Okay, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Just if you have any question, let me know. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Have a good night, Carlos. Take care. Have a good night. Thank you.